Chris Pert has been an avid runner for most of his life. After his hand healed from a car accident several years ago, he taught himself how to juggle and then joggle, a combination of juggling while jogging as a form of rehabilitation. To date, Chris has competed in four juggling marathons and believes juggling is a great way to energize and inspire others as well as make the kids smile. We're with Chris Pert here and we're going to learn how to juggle. Hey Chris. Hey Nafsika. How you doing? Great. What are we doing? Juggling. Jig or joggling, which is <laughs> the sport of combining juggling with running, which is just such a great way to stay in shape because I'm just having so much fun. I don't even have to think about having to exercise. It's like you have to drag me away from my balls to get me to not exercise. So. Oh wow. This <laughs> looks like a lot of fun. Um, you're going to show me how to do this properly soon. Let me ask you, what, where have you been doing this? Well, I do this, you know, jogging around my neighborhood, or sometimes I do it in marathons, uh, do it on trails, where I, of course, screw up sometimes, and, you know, <laughs> I can't always see where I'm going, but, yeah, I mean, it's just such a great way to stay in shape. And you, and do, and you do a lot of marathons, juggling? It's juggling marathons that you do? Yes, exactly. I've done four so far. Oh, wow. And uh, it's a really, really great way to stay in shape, like I said before. And as a vegan, it's a great way to, uh, you know, help spread the word about it. Because, you know, if the vegan is jolly, you know, people want to know, you know, what, what it's all about if they see that kind of thing. And I think you're the only vegan joggler that I know about anyway. Uh, I think so, too, yeah. based on what I can tell. What is joggling exactly? Well, joggling is the sport of combining juggling with running. Uh, it's a competitive sport. There's a lot... I mean, it's not a very common sport, but there's a bunch of us who do it, and, you know, we compete sometimes at races or for the world record. Some people try to go the distance, you know, how far they can joggle. Uh, some people try to break speed records, uh, believe it or not. I mean, some people can do it in under three hours, which is pretty remarkable. That's not me, though. I can't do it that fast. How long do you uh, do the, run the marathons for? Uh, my fastest time at a marathon while joggling is three hours and 40 minutes. How did you get into it? Well, I was in a car accident many years ago. I broke my hand. Oh. The bones were broken. And uh, so uh, it was really, really nasty experience to go through losing the functionality of my hand. So what happened was uh, after, you know, I recovered, you know, the bones healed, my coordination was gone. So uh, I decided to teach myself how to juggle to try to get back my coordination. And one thing led to another. Next oh. thing I know, you know, I started becoming good at it. I could do it for maybe half an hour. Then I started to combine it with running because I have always been a runner. And, you know, it's a, it adds like another element to uh, running. Makes it like a more multifaceted kind of exercise. Can you show me how to, how to juggle? Sure. I'm a beginner, so what do I... Well, first what you want to do is you want to try to, you know, uh, you start with two balls. You have ball one with your right hand and you have ball two with your left. First, what you want to do is you want to throw the first ball to eye level, and then you throw the second one also to eye level to the opposite hand, like this. Uh. Mm. And keep your, keep your hands at your side. That's... And you're focusing straight, or are you focusing on the, on the balls themselves? Well, it's helpful to look at the balls, at least in oh, the I beginning. Got it. <laughs> really, really good. That's good progress. <laughs> and but then you just start adding more Exactly. With the third ball, it's just, it's just the same pattern that repeats. You know, you just throw that third ball in there with the same pattern with the arc. Yeah, wow. It's a good idea to throw it to about eye level or a little bit be below. When you're new, yeah, it's good to look at the balls, but as you get better, you notice you don't have to look at the balls as much because of the muscle memory. So the way I found out about you was through the documentary, The Joggler. Can you tell me a little about that? Well, some of the students at the local school, they've long been curious about seeing me around the neighborhood joggling, so they decided to do a documentary about me to figure out, you know, what's, what is this guy all about? You know, we've been seeing him around doing this for years, and other people in the community were curious about it too, so it got a lot of, uh, I've got a lot, a lot of positive feedback about it, you know, because they find it inspiring and, you know, also amusing, and, uh, well, they finally found out the backstory, you know, I had been in a car accident, and I just you know, started juggling, you know, to uh, overcome uh, my problems, you know, with uh, my arm and my hand that had been injured. And how about your hand? Did, has it fully recovered? It has fully accident? recovered, yes, uh, but the bones are still a little bit crooked. If you look closely, though, it's a little scary to some people if they don't look at it closely. But 
otherwise the coordination it's actually better than before the accident because I was in a juggler or a juggler before the accident. So. Right. So what other creative ways can you juggle? Well, juggling has opened up so many new fitness possibilities uh, that I recently decided to learn how to unicycle, and I've been doing that for a little while now. And it's such a it's such a great way to stay in shape. It's such a it's like cross training for my juggling. You know? It's a low impact activity, although it does require a lot of balance mm -hmm. you know, to stay on top. And then I also juggle while doing that, so it, it can get tiring after a while. Uh, but it definitely is a really great exercise that I recommend. And uh, in Japan, in a lot of schools, I think most schools, it's actually required to learn to ride a unicycle really? in oh. uh, physical education. Oh, that's great. Can I throw in another ball in here? Here, I'll just get it. There you go. Go for it. Awesome. Wow, that's great. Well, thank you so much, Chris, for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. I'm going to continue practicing my juggling, and we'll be back after the commercial break.